interested in the can life. And uh, I've been on the board of Can Life for a few years now, so I'm very fortunate to have that uh, position, be somewhat familiar with uh, some of their operations and activities. Uh, Can Life Sciences uh, has a, a licensing agreement with the National Institutes of Health to utilize the U.S. government's patent on the therapeutic use of cannabinoids. Uh, so they have two licensing agreements with the NIH. Uh, the first one is to develop a, a medication for a condition called hepatic encephalopathy. Uh, this is a condition that happens with uh, long-term opiate use or uh, overuse or abuse of alcohol over a long period of time. And um, uh, the company feels that there's a significant benefit with CBD to act as a neuroprotectant in this particular situation. And their second license uh, agreement is to uh, develop a pharmaceutical medication for the treatment of CTE, or what's called chronic traumatic encephalopathy. Uh, this is affecting the NFL football players who have collision, concussion, or subconcussive events on a very regular basis. Uh, it happens with other sport athletes, uh, soccer and uh, uh, hockey, as well as people who've had uh, car accidents and other injuries. And uh, it also affects a lot of our uh, military uh, people, particularly those who've been exposed to explosions or blast or other you know, concussive type events. And uh, we'd like to think we can uh, develop a uh, pharmaceutical medication that will help to protect uh, the nerves and uh, potentially uh, extend or improve the quality of life of these individuals who are suffering with these conditions. Yeah, I mean, that, that's one of my real passions. I've seen, you know, the, the effects of CBD, especially with the CTE. I have a, a former NFL great I'm being a New Yorker myself, New York Jet. Marvin Washington is going to be coming on the show as a guest soon. And we're going to talk about concussions and, and uh, CBD and what Cano Life. I believe he's on the board there helping out with Cano Life and helping to really educate the NFL. And, and that's really exciting stuff when you see mainstream applications and benefits. And I'm not even talking about the multimillionaire making NFL professional athletes. I'm talking about even when you have our children doing pop Warner football or playing, you know, you know, peewee sports or, you know, things like that and getting bumped in the head. We want to be able to protect them across the board. And I think it's, it's amazing that this is where CBD and where cannabis is going in the, in the very near future or already happening in that fact. Yeah, we're very excited about our uh, research, and uh, hopefully we can uh, provide some solutions, no question. But, you know, when you have a young um, NFL star like uh, this uh, Chris Borland, who was with the San Francisco 49ers, had a, you know, a tremendous uh, initial season in the uh, NFL. Uh, he's looking to be a you know, potential franchise player uh, down the road, and all of a sudden he just decided he's had enough on quitting, you know, because of the – uh, fears of uh, the long-term effects of playing, you know, professional football over a multi-year career. So, uh, uh, you know, when you have situations like that, that really puts the focus on the uh, safety issue. And uh, of course, we all love uh, in America here to watch our uh, football games on uh, Thursday nights now, and uh, Sundays, and uh, even uh, Sunday and Monday evenings. So it's uh, tremendously popular, and to have some of these great athletes, uh, you know, we'd love to have them continue and uh, have uh, wonderful uh, careers as well as be uh, healthy into their retirement uh, years. And hopefully we can uh, provide some solutions and answers for that. Certainly the fact that Dr. Bennett Amalu has come on to our scientific advisory board, uh, he was the chief pathologist who discovered uh, CTE and the uh, NFL football players. Uh, the fact that he's come on board uh, really speaks volumes to the fact that we really think we now may be able to provide some solutions to these uh, unfortunate situations that have been occurring. Yeah, I, I think it's great research and it's, a, it's really uh, beneficial. I know that some of the other applications we can talk about include, you know, helping Native Americans and, and with their conditions that are most pre prevalent, such as alcoholism and diabetes. I really think there's opportunities there. Uh, I know you guys have some interest in helping in that area as well and doing some research. I think it's a lot of great stuff going on. I think people have to really just get behind and, and unify. And when we get back from this next break, we're going to talk a little bit about some of the, the naysayers, some of the negatives, but some of the, the positive things as well that you know uh, this industry has going on. And whenever you have these walls being broken down, you've got, as I always say, the haters going to hate, but uh, there's still a lot of good people out there. You guys are doing a lot of great work. And, again, I, I applaud you guys for you know challenging all those 
those people that might want to hold down cannabis and not make it available and not promote the science. It's not an easy task, but it's definitely one worth doing. And again, uh, appreciate that from you guys all the time. This is uh, Doc Rob, Concierge to Better Living. We'll be right back after this short break and some really great uh, news out of Medical Marijuana Inc. right after this break. The Concierge for Better Living will continue in a moment. InternetMarketingNinjas.com is the online dojo of the highly trained and skilled Internet Marketing Ninjas. Disavow documents, reconsideration requests, Panda and Penguin penalties. Let our superior SEO ninjas confront all of your link-related issues. The Internet Marketing Ninjas are equipped to master any marketing exercise, content creation, authorship, link building, PPC, and more. Plus, build more buzz for your brand with our social media marketing strategy. Discover all that the Internet Marketing Ninjas can do for you. Visit the online dojo now at internetmarketingninjas.com. The smoke is rising, and the next crop of podcasts devoted to cannabis providers and enthusiasts are ready to be harvested. Welcome to the Cannabis Radio Network. Founded by respected rainmakers who have been producing award-winning podcasts for over a decade. Industry headlines, business updates, medical reports, marketing, and e-commerce education rolled up perfectly for your consumption. Let's grow together. The Cannabis Radio Network. CannabisRadio.com Hi, I'm Montel Williams. Most of you know me as a talk show host, but I'm also an author, actor, single father of four, a fitness writer, avid snowboarder, and I'm also a medical marijuana patient. Like many of the million people who are living with multiple sclerosis, I'm in pain every single day. And sometimes my nerves are so raw that if you brushed up against me in an elevator, I'd scream. I can't sleep at night from the pain, and sometimes the spasms in my legs are so intense they will wake me up throughout the night. I've tried the strongest prescription medications available, and I'm going to tell you, they do not work. In fact, they leave me in a stupor, and most of the time, it's impossible to even live your life. Now, I've tried medical marijuana, and I'm going to tell you something, it works. If you'd like more information about medical marijuana, you can contact the Marijuana Policy Project at mpp.org or call 1-877-JOIN-MPP. Candid. Captivating. Compelling. Welcome to Cannabis Confidential with Dr. Dina. Listen in as Dr. Dina, medical marijuana pioneer and inspiration for the award-winning TV series, Weeds, shares never-before-heard stories, chats with cannabis insiders and celebrity friends, and provides invaluable perspective and insight into one of the fastest-growing industries in the world. Cannabis Confidential with Dr. Dina, only on CannabisRadio.com. Let's check back in with Doc Rob and the Concierge for Better Living, only on CannabisRadio.com. And we're back for a final wrap-up session here with today's guest, Stuart Titus from Medical Marijuana, Inc. We're having a great talk about CBD, about hemp, about the NFL. You know, I, I think that's been interesting for me, Stuart, is that I, I, you know, people on the outside usually see one perspective. And I'm looking at this industry in so many different ways. I guess that's the holistic nature that I, that I bring to the table. You've got your marijuana advocates who've been fighting for years to get medical marijuana legal. Then you've got your marijuana advocates who don't really want it to be restricted to medical only. They want recreational. They want it legal across the board. Then, of course, you've got those that believe that you know want to focus on hemp and, and, and both hemp as an agricultural commodity as well as you know nutrition and all the and for textiles and you have all these great opportunities but if i guess some people act a little bit childish if they're not getting it their way if they don't see it their way maybe they like to make a stink about it so that's why i always say the haters are going to hate but you know one of the things that I guess is an easy target, but is quality of the products in the market. As a dietary supplement, as a nutraceutical guy, I've been consulting in that industry for over a decade. We still get challenged. There was, a, there was something with CNN or some of the news reports last month attacking the quality of herbal supplements in the stores like GNC. There's always going to be these attacks on quality. I, I, I know that when I first met, you know, heard about the CBD products from Hemp Meds, 
that one of the questions I asked was, what kind of testing, what kind of quality control, you know, what do you guys do to make sure that we're giving, whether it be a healthy person or someone who's got some health concerns, the best products possible? Can you, you know, I mean, I know you guys address this all the time, but uh, just for the listeners, you guys have pretty much above average, if not, you know, you know exceeding, leading the, the category in how you guys manage your quality control. Is that right? Well, for sure, uh, Dr. Rob, we appreciate uh, your uh, comments there. But, yes, we do have uh, several stages of testing, not only uh, the final product, but uh, right from uh, the initial extraction uh, all the way through. Uh, so it's uh, the product is tested uh, uh, multiple times before actually coming into the country. Uh, once it uh, comes in here, we uh, do test, and then uh, we have uh, two or three other uh, test as we uh, go through the uh, process towards uh, producing final products. And uh, there are a lot of uh, regulatory hurdles that, uh, of course, we've had to um, cover uh, throughout the years as well. And I think we've uh, done that uh, very successfully. And uh, uh, I think the results just speak for themselves. The product uh, really tests out uh, uh, very consistently and uh, being very, very pleased to uh, be able to produce this product uh, through our uh, company and have it available through our sales affiliates. And then you guys had some issues, though, you know, with some negative commentary from Project CBD, a nonprofit organization that says they're meant to promote and educate. And, and meanwhile, it seems to me they have a little bit of a bias against hemp anything if they're marijuana advocates. But um, I know you can't get into it because there's an ongoing lawsuit. I just, you know, as far as some of the people that, that were part of that report and some of the findings there, from my understanding, you know, you know that, a lot of that was just – premature re- released information and a lot of mistakes. Is that is that pretty accurate? Or uh, Yes, I, I'd say that's uh, an accurate uh, summation. Obviously, we're still in uh, ongoing litigation with some of the parties, and I unfortunately can't really comment uh, too much at uh, this time. Someday the full story will come out, and I think uh, will be uh, uh, very well uh, vindicated. Uh, you know, as, as you mentioned, some of the parties have already uh, settled, so um, uh, I think there will be some comments and potential uh, video testimony available uh, online, and we'll certainly have that available. And I and appreciate that. I know it's tough when you're in the middle of a lawsuit and you got these, you know, the lawyers saying, Shh, don't say this and don't say that, but I want, you know, people that, you know, are out there, when you read it, you know, an, a report like that from one group, you know, please, it's always, you know, I mean, I always say there's three sides to every story. I'm sure everyone's heard that before, too. But, I mean, it's, it's definitely just not the one side. And I, and I and I personally have seen these products. That's why I wanted to have you on today. And I really t- appreciate you taking the time, Stuart. I know you're real busy. Got a lot of things going on over there. But I, I just want people to understand that there's, there's different sides. There's different information. Try to get all the answers. The truth will come out. The truth shall prevail, as they say. Uh, and and I, I know that the products, you know, I've used the products myself. I've used it with clients of my own. And while this industry is evolving and new products are always hitting the market, new information continuously, you know, comes to light. I just want people to understand that, you know, the intention should always be to help people, to promote well-being. I know, you know, and I'm not getting into personal stuff, but it, you know, we've all had our health journeys and we've all gotten improved by cannabis to some degree. And, um... You know, I just think we're at the, still at the very early stages of what this industry holds. And, I, again, I want to applaud you guys and give you guys a chance to, you know, share some information to the listeners, to people out there that, you know, that just stay tuned. Check out Medical Marijuana Inc. Look at the, 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 the projects, the products, the hemp meds, the RSHO, um, some of the research going on with Counter Life Science. And I know there's a lot of good stuff coming out. So, again, I appreciate, Stuart, all your time and all you guys are doing over there. And I uh, look forward to a lot of great things. If people want to know more about CBD, more about you know hemp and cannabis and the benefits and the applications, I recommend go to mycompassion.org. It's another nonprofit. And that's really helping people educate. I know that Medical Marijuana Inc. has been a supporter of My Compassion. We'll continue to do so. And uh, again, stay tuned. This is your concierge to better living. Thank you again, Stuart Titus from Medical Marijuana Inc., my guest today. Great information. We'll be speaking again. I wish everyone all the best in health and happiness. The opinions expressed on this Cannabis Radio Network program are those of the guests and hosts and do not necessarily reflect those of the staff or management of Cannabis Radio Network. Any rebroadcast or retransmission without proper consent of the Cannabis Radio Network is prohibited.